now this is the question regarding ecosystem first statement an ecosystem can be visualized as a functional unit of nature in an ecosystem the material flow is unidirectional while the energy flow is bidirectional and third statement ecosystem may vary in size from a droplet of water to an ocean now regarding ecosystem we know that ecosystem is the concept in which uh, the living organisms are interacting with the environment right or the interaction between living things and non living things is known as ecosystem and it can be varied from a small size to a large size that means it can be the interaction can be seen within a droplet there will there will be bacteria there and they are interacting with the water droplet for their energy needs and we can uh, say that in a forest ecosystem there will be lots of species lots of tigers lions all these are interacting to the other compounds of ecosystems like uh, rabbit deer like that so this ecosystem can be seen in everywhere where we are having life so the structural and functional system of communities of living organisms and their environment is called ecological system or in short the ecosystem right that means interaction between the system in which living organisms interact with the non living components or the environment so an ecosystem is the smallest unit of biosphere biosphere means the regions of the surface and atmosphere of the planet occupied by living organisms okay so ecosystem is the smallest unit of this biosphere and there are lots of example for this ecosystem like the forest pond lake desert grassland right. and this ecosystem in this ecosystem these species are interacting for their energy needs right and how they are getting energy by the et mechanism by the predation right so one species will get the energy from other species and that is by the food chain right so because of the food chain these organisms are getting energy or food in that way the interaction is happening and thereby form the ecosystem so by this food chain in an ecosystem the energy will be transferred through the ecosystem and it will be unidirectional right because we know that we are getting sunlight from the sun and it will be converted into chemical energy by the plants by the process of photosynthesis and that will be used by herbivores and this herbivores will be eaten by carnivores and so on so each of this trophic level we know that energy will be reduced right so that's why energy transfer will be always unidirectional in an ecosystem but in the case of materials it will be bidirectional because we know that uh, when these living organisms are died they will decompose and then elements present in the body or present in the organic matter and that will be released to the soil again and that will be again absorbed by the plants and they will produce the organic matter again and again it will circle so it is a bidirectional so material flow is bidirectional in an ecosystem and energy flow is unidirectional so the flow of materials like the water carbon and nitrogen etc in the ecosystem is said to be cyclic that means bidirectional because these materials can be reused for the growth of new plants again but the flow of energy in the ecosystem is unidirectional or it is one directional because the energy enters the plants from the sun through photosynthesis during the making of food during the making of carbohydrates and this energy is then passed on from one organism to another through the food chain and energy is given out by the organisms as heat is lost to the environment and it does not return to be used by the plants again and this makes the flow of energy in ecosystem unidirectional now coming to the question again with reference to ecosystem consider the following statement and first statement an ecosystem can be visualized as a functional unit of nature of course it's a correct statement because by the definition we said that ecosystem is the functional and structural system of communities of living organisms okay so ecosystem is the functional and stru structural system of communities of living organisms with their environment so we can say that ecosystem they are acting as a fun function of this nature so ecosystem can be visualized as a functional unit of nature so that's a correct statement and second in an ecosystem the material flow is unidirectional by energy flow is bidirectional that's a wrong statement because in ecosystem the material flow is bidirectional and energy flow is unidirectional so that's why second statement is wrong we eliminated b and d then third statement ecosystem may vary in size from a droplet of water to an ocean that's a correct statement because a droplet of water will be having microbes there and ocean will be having so many organisms and they all are interacting with their environment for their energy needs right so third statement is also correct so here our answer is c only first and third statements are correct